Attention you! Yes, you watching this video are right. I have got a special announcement from Bob Sir himself. Wait a minute. Are you telling me you actually don't know who Bob Sir is? Alright, well let me tell you. Bob Sir is a character from the popular British television show, Horrid Henry. Alright, he first appeared in Season 1, Episode 13. Horrid Henry goes to work. Alright. Now, in this episode, Horrid Henry has to go to work with his dad, right? Now, at first, alright, he's angry at this fact, alright? But, as soon as he sees Bob, sir, everything changes, alright? He goes from Horrid Henry to Happy Henry, alright? He does exactly as he's told, alright? Bob, sir, just ha is that powerful. He has an aura around him that can do this stuff, alright? Just look at him, look at him, look at his hair, alright? He must use about 10 packs of hair gel every day, or he's just naturally that shiny, alright? Whatever it is, he's Bob, sir. Wait, what's that? Are you still not convinced? Ah, <sighs> alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to show you every single scene with Bob, sir, in it, because literally every single one, he is a chad. So, our first ever encounter with Bob Sir, right? Horrid Henry, alright, has been horrid as usual. And for some reason, he presses the emergency button on the elevator, alright? So, they have to get cut out by firefighters, alright? Now, if you were the CEO of Bob Sir's company, right? And your elevator has just been, like, broken by the firefighters to get Horrid Henry and his dad out, alright? What would you say in this situation, alright? Right, you got your guesses right. You'd probably be like pretty angry, right? Well Bob Sir, right, he just doesn't care about that. Right, he goes straight up to Henry's dad and says You're late. Bad start. Bob knows best and late people aren't great people. Now, just seeing this scene alone should already convince you, but I can tell you're not convinced because you're like a rat, alright? So, after this, we're then introduced to his son Bill, which like not gonna lie, it's not even his son, like, there is no way that they are connected, alright? Bob, sir, is just leagues ahead of his son, alright? Look at this scene here and how he's introduced, and you can already tell that he's gonna be a rat throughout the entire episode. This is Bill, his son, and you have to do what I say to. Alright, so then after that, right, that disgusting encounter, alright, uh, Bob, sir, introduces himself to Henry, alright, and you can already tell how kind and loving Bob Sir is alright. Welcome to my brush and paste empire young Henry. We aim to have a foaming brush in every mouth in the land. So, take this day by the scruff of the neck little laddie. Listen and learn and one day you too could take orders from me. I'll try my best sir Bob Sir. Uh, I promise to listen and learn. Alright this scene here is a perfect introduction to him. Did you see how he walks alright? If you want to mess with him, alright, he's walking with his fist in the air, right, ready to punch you, ready to smack you if you think you're slick. Alright, you see how kind he is? Alright, he just convinces Henry straight away. He goes from horrid Henry to happy Henry, as I already said. Alright, and because he's so, Henry's so good to Bob, so he gives him a little pat on the head. Alright, showing how caring he is, alright. So then, after this, Bob, so gives Henry a rundown on how things work, alright. And he even gives him the honour of working with Bill. I mean, it's not actually a pretty good honour. But Bob, sir, is a bit unaware of how much of a rat his child is, so we'll excuse it. I like you, young Henry. I wish more young men wanted to be like me. Tell you what, you can be my son's partner for the day. I expect my boy Bill to take toothpaste into the future. Watch him like a hawk, Henry. My boy is the future. And then, after this, all right, Bob, sir, gives him the first order of the day. But he also sets up a very important plot point. First task, boys. Make the tea, serve the tea. And remember, I could be watching you. So then, after this, Henry and Bill go to make the tea. But then, Bill shows his true colours. Alright. You don't get it, do you? You make the tea, I watch you. No way! If you don't do what I say, my dad will fire your dad. So get making bucket brain. So I'm pretty sure after seeing that, you can tell he is not Bob's son. He's clearly adopted, alright. 
Anyway, after this, Henry still does it because he knows Bob knows best, alright? So, he makes them. But then Bill isn't done there, right? He also does this. Now I order you to put this stuff in the tea. So, because Henry doesn't want his dad to be fired, he does it anyway, alright? And then they bring the tea to Bob, sir, and give it to him. And this happens. <laughs> 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 this tea's been tampered with! Who did this? It was Henry, Dad! I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen! Now, not only does this show how Bob Sir can easily tell when something's been tampered with, but it's also a massive betrayal from Bill. So then, alright, Henry tries to reason with Bob Sir, but understandably, he's a bit annoyed, so he says to them, No excuses! You should keep your son under more control! You need to learn what hard work is, Henry. I want you both down in the packing department now! So then, after this, Henry and Bill go down to the packing department. Now, not only does Bill not help Henry, but he also sabotages him. Alright, look at this. You're not working fast enough. Ah, look at that. Dad hates to waste toothpaste more than anything. He's gonna be really angry. And, as if this isn't bad enough, Bill then does this. Gotcha! And then, even if you think things couldn't get worse from here, Bob Sir then comes in and Bill frames Henry again. I tried to stop him, Dad, but he won't listen to me. <gasps> now, even though this is sad and all, after this, Bob Sir delivers one of the most famous speeches on earth, alright? Listen to this. This is disgraceful behaviour, Henry. Totally unacceptable. If I was your real boss, you'd be sacked. Oh, get absolutely roasted. I mean, uh, yeah, this is very sad. Um, but luckily, Bob Sir is understanding and he easily works out the reason why Henry is acting like this. I mean, he's not actually acting like this, but, you know... He's trouble, Dad. I'm not the sort of person I would employ when I take over this company. I know, son. But you have to understand, some children don't have your quality upbringing. You see, look how understanding Bob Sir is. He understands Henry doesn't have the best upbringing. So he even gives Henry one last chance, alright? So he makes him and Bill go and do some photocopying. But Henry is sick and tired of being treated like this. So he comes up with an epic plan. Why don't we copy something horrid and then hang the pictures all over the office? Like what? <laughs> it's a bit rude. Great idea! Me first! No, me first! I'm the boss and the boss always goes first. Of course. You know best, Bill, sir! Yes! Now, I have just realised that I did forget to mention that Bill has been turning the cameras around so Bob still can't see what he's doing. So, Henry turns the tables, alright? And uh, right now, Bill is about to get caught in 4K Ultra HD. We must convince the nation, and then the entire world, that a day without toothpaste is like... <laughs> uh, did I say something funny? <coughs> no, Bob, sir. We would never laugh at you. What? So now, Bill finally gets what he deserves. Ho, ho, ho. One bottom, two bottom, three bottom, five. Five bottom, six bottom, seven bottom, more. Bill! What are you doing? Um, it was Henry. Now, you may be worried here that Bob is about to take Bill's side, but no, Henry comes back with the best comeback ever. I, I don't know why he's saying that, Bob Sir. I'm afraid I told him not to, Bob Sir, but he just wouldn't listen to me, Bob Sir. Uh, sir. How dare you! You've made me a laughing stock in front of my entire company! You're not the son I thought you were. Go home! I'll deal with you later! But, Dad! No, but... I think we've had enough of those. 
So, yeah, Bill gets absolutely destroyed, probably gets disowned after. Anyway, then Henry and Bob Sir make up, and we get the best end. Obviously, I was a little hasty in blaming your son. Boys will be boys, Bob, no matter the quality of their upbringing. Well, young Henry, I think for the rest of the day you can, um, amuse yourself. Yes, sir, uh, Bob, sir. Oh, right! And thus marks the end of the best Horror Henry episode out there. Alright. So, thank you guys so much for watching.